People look in a lot of directions for help. We're tempted to look in, but we can hardly believe, though we've heard it a thousand times, that we are enough, that we have enough resource within us to provide the help we need. After all, why would we be looking anywhere for help if we were sufficient to meet our needs? We might look out. We make alliances with others. We look for solace in friends. We seek security and the strength of able leaders. But if we do that, we're still dealing with equals, those who have the same need for help as ourselves. The best direction to look for help is up. That's what the writer does in Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? He says in verse 1. Why does the writer mention hills, though? Perhaps he's casting a dismissive glance at the high places on which the Israelites worshipped idols of foreign gods. Children of God know that both religious and non-religious idols are a vain hope for help. And so the writer looks beyond the hills to the one who made the hills. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth, verse 2 says. The writer has inherited a proper belief of the universe's origin. His entire outlook was based on the truth that God created the heavens and the earth, as the first verses of the Bible, uh, first verse of the Bible says. So basic is the, the reality of divine creation that it determined his patterns of work and rest, as Exodus 20 verse 11 required. And if God made everything in only six days, then he knows what help is best and is fully able to deliver. In a sense, the poem could stop there. I need help. The maker of the universe will help me. But he isn't only concerned with himself. After verse 2, he turns from his private musings and addresses the community of faith, The Lord is your keeper too, he says in verse 5. He reminds the helpless of rock-solid truths about God. He never sleeps. When you go to sleep, you let go of all perceived control of your life. You either entrust yourself to blind fate or to a personal God who never goes off duty. Psalm 121 assures us, as we know, that evil is real but that God is stronger. Your foot cannot be moved one step from the path God has laid out for you. God watches you in the day and in the night, in your coming and your going, now and forever, as the writer says. In this day of grace, we still look to God for help, but now his spirit has truly come to our right hand to protect us and to convince us that we are protected no matter what. Let's hear Psalm 121. A song of ascents. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore.